The last leg of the Red Knot's flight to Delaware is extraordinary. Red Knot expert Kevin Callas of Denrex Fish and Wildlife Division describes the bird's five to seven day nonstop flight from Brazil to Delaware using their natural GPS system. Migration is, is an interesting thing. As nightfall starts, they'll begin to form flocks and make these calls and, and circle up high. And, and then once they feel like they have a flock that's large enough that they, where there's enough birds ready to migrate, then they'll take off and start flying north. What we think happens is that they, they can, um, they're kind of following the stars and, and they have a map of, of where they need to go based on, on uh, where they are in the world in, re in relationship to the stars. The bay is important to migratory shorebirds because without those eggs, there's no other food resource that's abundant enough and has the energy that they need in order to gain the weight that they need to both make up for what they've lost on their trip here from South America and prepare them for their, their trip north to the Arctic, which are both really energetically and physically demanding on, on a, a little bird like that. I couldn't think of a better, a better uh, species that um, would speak more to, to energy conservation and more to Delaware's um, participation in a conservation issue that is of hemispheric importance. The Red Knot's energy savvy is on full display during her flight to Delaware using only the energy she needs to reach her destination. They've expended all their fat resources and energy resources and they'll actually start to convert muscle mass to, to uh, flight energy. When they get here they're completely emaciated and tired and actually have to begin to regrow their digestive organs because they've, they've before they left on um, South America they, they absorbed their gut and livers and other digestive organs to convert that to energy um, and reduce weight for, for organ, organs that they're, they weren't going to be using while they're flying for five to seven days. I consider myself very lucky every day. It's like a dream job. The Red Knot's Delaware fuel stop is of worldwide significance. Calaz spearheads an army of research volunteers who will monitor and study the Red Knot's eating and weight gain for four to five weeks. Tune in for the next episode of A Bird Named Sue to learn about the special leg band used this year in honor of Energized Delaware's mascot, so Sue can be followed around the world. For more information about how the SEU's Energize Delaware helps Delawareans save money and energy, go to energizedelaware.org.